So goes Apple, so goes the market. I've heard it a lot over the course of the past few weeks. Do you agree? Does Apple represent the key to the overall market? I don't think any one stock represents a key to the market, but when you were the largest market capitalization company, you represent the largest holding within the market. So when people buy the market, they're buying you, and when they buy and sell you, they're buying and selling the market. So Apple does have an extraordinary effect on where markets go. And certainly, if we thought that, that Apple was the only sentiment indicator, perhaps it would trade at a market multiple or higher, which it hasn't done in years. So that, that valuation argument is one that's been made for Apple's case, even at higher prices still. Is Apple a compelling investment for a value investor at this stage? Well, I think that's why value investors get so interested in, in something like Apple when it comes off to, you know, close to 25%. Is that you have a company trading at 13 and a half times earnings, uh, which has become a much more stable earnings stream. And so far, we actually haven't witnessed any dis disappointing earnings. All of the price movement in Apple has been a result of a change in sentiment and fears of future sales. So, Tim, if we have that sentiment, what actually gets investors excited about Apple again? It does pay a dividend. It does buy back a lot of stock. It still is a cash flow machine. What is it that it needs to do to communicate that right message to get people more interested in buying those types of shares? <laughs> well, I think you used the right wor word on that, Dom. It's communicate. Uh, you know, in the last quarter, they decided that they would no longer release iPhone sales figures. And that has really spooked the market because it made the market fear that those numbers were going to be poor. Um, so I think Apple needs to do a whole lot of reassurance of the market that across their product spectrum, services, hardware, software, uh, that they have the revenue and earnings that people expect them to have. And until they actually have another earnings release, I'm not sure the market's going to get all that constructive. Tim, there are certain key parts of technology, communication services, consumer discretionary that are all on sale after this recent market sell-off. What in your mind represents the most attractive opportunity of all of those places that have been beaten up? Well, as, as value managers, we really seek to find those companies that have strong earnings, strong balance sheets. Uh, that for some reason are trading at a big discount to the market. And if you look at the semiconductor space, you've seen massive sell-offs across that, that spectrum. And the cheapest ones of those groups are probably the biggest opportunities. Uh, the market, you know, as a discounting mechanism of future activity, uh, must be feeling that somehow that 5G cellular technologies uh, and smartphones are never going to sell again because they're really trading at discount multiples.